I have to say the most difficult part of adjusting to Turkey has been that because of my looks, uh, I've very often been assumed uh, to be uh, Russian, which in Turkey is not that favorable because there is a general perception that Russian women are necessarily emigrating prostitutes. And uh, of course that gets a lot of unwanted attention. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we live in the neighborhood that we do is because it's a much more uh, open Western cultured neighborhood. People there don't automatically assume that if I'm coming home late at night because maybe I had a long night at work, Maybe they, I mean, they're not going to automatically assume that I've been out walking the streets or, you know, that sort of thing. But in the beginning, I did have a lot of problems. I had a lot of people calling me Natasha on the street, which is the slang term for prostitute, even little schoolboys. And uh, that was really uh, hurtful and uh, demoralizing. Uh, but, um, and I tried to do a lot of different things to change that. At that time, I was very surprised that that would be the assumption because at that time, I, I tended to look a lot more grunge than I do now. I used to wear my hair with military short brush cut. I used to dress very grunge. I used to, you know, not the sort of things that a woman might traditionally do to attract male attention, but still I was getting this sort of thing happening. And uh, eventually I realized that it wasn't actually my physical appearance, but it was the energy that I was giving out. Because you're living in a very big city, you can't walk around with a smile on your face and, oh, I'm a you know, happy little foreigner, because it makes you a target. It would make you a target in any big city. Uh, so once I actually changed my body language and my energy, then overnight those problems completely disappeared. Um, I have to say, though, I'm not upset that I went through that experience because as a, as a white woman growing up in America, I have been part of a privileged class that doesn't typically come across instances of racism. And racism is a horrible problem in America. But coming here and going through that kind of experience where people are looking at me and judging what my character must be and what my values must be just based on what I look like and having them think that I must be some sort of horrible person because of what my outside is. It was such a valuable lesson in teaching me what it must feel like to be a minority in America and have to deal with that every single day. You have to have a strong sense of self because whenever you go into a different culture for an extended time, you have to understand what is your boundary because to, you are going to assimilate to that culture to a certain extent, but you have to know where that boundary is. Where does that culture leave off and where do you begin? Because if you start erasing parts of yourself in order to accommodate that culture, you're not living an authentic life and you're not really going to be very happy.